knocking off the uh, immediate life threatening intervention. We take Marines from 150 throughout the camp. That's all that we've got here at this tiny little place. Chow hall workers, you take administrators, you take everyone behind the scenes, the supply workers, and then you gear them up and you do what Marines do. So this exercise here this morning was just this mass casualty event. This was an integration of all of our resources. So we had fire, medical, PMO, and then h &S support for the casualties. At different gates, we had different opportunities for them. At gate two, we had them doing a vehicle inspections. And then for the rest of our gates, we had them involved with our JLTVs doing mounted patrols and unmounted patrols around the base. Fire department job was to make sure we transport a casualty patients to area hospitals as soon as possible. When incident occurs, we must respond quickly and we have to be able to work together with the military side to remedy the situations we have. People are here six months, one year, the continuity is not there. So our civilian counterparts, the Japanese civilians here, they're the ones that help us out because they know how to do things. And being able to have that integration and constantly retraining that with the exercises, that just makes us stronger in working together.